All right, hello folks. I'm going to do a quick flip through of this book so we can show it off a little bit. This is part of the Something Wicked series. Here is some red and black beading on the sides, gone through with a pin. This book is a three signature book. It has metal corners, it has a frame on the front, and it has this card inside the frame so that you can label this book however you wish. Let's do a kind of a quick flip through here. Right inside the front, we've got a little pocket with an envelope and some journaling cards or perhaps um, photo frames. And we have some photo frame flips and a photo, photo frame page. That was kind of a tongue twister for me. Also has inside this page, it has a little photo frame pocket or a mat, um, excuse me, a mat board. Turn the page. What is normal for the spider is chaos for the fly. So, um, gothic spooky Wicked is not just for Halloween, so this book is not specifically a Halloween book, although you may feel the theme a little bit. Quick flip through. Um, we have tea dyed pages, we have stenciling, we have um, hand torn pages. This has a central um, scrapbook page for mounting photos or receipts or snippets of any kind, more tea dyed pages, a little graph paper, I forgot what kind of paper this is, but this is, it feels so cool, and um, whatever it's dyed with, it's dyed as like a green in both directions, it looks a little bit like woven um, paper. That was signature one. This is the start of signature two. It starts out with a pocket, a journaling tag, a journaling card. On the other side, it has a pocket with a journaling card. Ooh, oh, critters behind the tag. That's cool. Um, I believe this one inside also has a mat board. Yep. So mounting photos or whatever you wish to that one as well. Again, a large mix of papers with, oh, I wonder what kind that is. That's, not, that's it feels a lot like rice paper. Might actually be rice paper. Um, so lots of dyed pages again. Here is the central page for this signature. It's got a little pouch. What's in there? You know what? We won't talk about what's in there because whoever buys this book is going to need some surprises. So there's some goodies in a little bag right there. There's a little flip out journaling spot. And the beginning of um, signature number three. Another matte board. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the beginning of sec um, signature three. And it looks like this has a bunch of similar papers. Got graph papers, um, certificate paper, tea dyed pages. I don't remember what kind of page this is, but it's a dyed cardstock and it's just lovely. The center of this signature is another. Um, collage bit. Actually the only other the only collage part is this little bat guy hanging out at the cemetery. Very nice. Alright. I haven't seen this book in a long time. Um, so I'm kinda liking getting to revisit it. So a journaling card in the back. Um is a multi-tiered journaling card. Oh, there we go. It's on the side. Look at that big spider. And a journaling spot on the back. This has the third No. 
How many page? How many does this have? This has another mat board, anyways, inside the pocket page, and a belly band on the back here. Actually, it's a flip up. Okay, and it's got a journaling card here, a little waterfall there, and a journaling space here, and that closes with a magnet. And there is the back of the book. This book does not have any kind of um, permanent closure, no ribbons or anything in that regard. You could tie this up with anything that you like, but it does come in this organza bag for storage to keep it dust free and on theme. A nice red organza bag. And that is that book.